Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what how to run Flask on Visual Studio 2019. So there are you can see or uh, if you are open the Visual Studio installer, there you can see different workloads are there. So first workload that require Python development and uh, next is Node.js and uh, here you can see you can enable this option development analytics and uh, if you want then you can enable C++ so features and here there is the one more workload that require data science and analytical or application so click this and uh, click on this python native development tools so if you want then you can check or uncheck so here thereafter you need to click on this modify or install so next should be connected and uh, thereafter you can see a uh, start operation and a uh, starting operation there you can see for so you can try with uh, like uh, visual studio community professional enterprise so flask will run in all so here you can see the download though 100 percent it's done now it's it will start doing the installation of the packages see installing packages so this are doing the installation and there is the uh, important thing uh, so if I open uh, this place, so command prompt, and if I write uh, there Python, so here you can get the detail about uh, uh, Python 3.79. It's come there. That means Python that already installed. So for Flask and uh, for Django, you should uh, install first uh, Python 3.79. So let's see. The progress it's uh, 92 percent completed now you can see visual studio community and uh, the packages that install you need to click on this launch uh, button so there you can see visual studio 2019 it's uh, opening after doing some modification and uh, first uh, here we need to create the project of the flask so create new project and uh, this place you can see the recent project template now here you can select uh, here uh, python and uh, next uh, here you can see python application Django and flask web project now you can see bottle web project also so you need to click this flags web project click on next and uh, this is the name that's so uh, fine click on this create so flask web project it's so uh, creating and here creating the project info microsoft visual studio here you can see python package specification file requirement text was detected in the project flask project one so we need to create a virtual environment so here you can click this virtual environment now you can change or give any kind of name base interpreter python 3.7 because uh, i already discussed uh, python 3.7 is in my system so if i write here python now you can see python 3.7 so i highly recommend you you should first install python 3.7 before using flask now here after uh, you can see this is the in and uh, no need to change anything everything fine click on this create and uh, here you can get the masses creating create virtual environment e and v so this is the preparing now here this is the masses virtual environment is being created on this location see user atom source rep pose and flask web project e and v and uh, here you can see this all those things like uh, flask web project a static view so here it will take some time to get the so now i'm going to pause the video after waiting 10 second times here requirement.txt was installed successfully and uh, here after doing this all process the next uh, you can see in python 3.7 click flask uh, this all those things it's gone there now the next uh, thing i want to run the first uh, flask program 
so first i'm going to check uh, this on the browser so let's uh, select web browser google chrome you can select any of your favorite browser now click on this web server after that uh, there you can see the flask uh, uh, project uh, with uh, application home about to uh, contact kind of details on so here you can see this is the running press ctrl c to k so let's uh, copy this uh, and uh, ctrl c so let's press here enter now automatically it's uh, transfer here and uh, there is no any problems here you can see wave contact home about contact this all those things now i want to print to hello world program so hello world program so let's uh, stop that one and uh, here i already have this a uh, uh, simple hello world program going to print so now we need to create a uh, first uh, one file so python file so here you need to go on the add new item so now you can add the item like python package this all so i'm going to add the icon i uh, add empty python file so here if you want then you can change so i'm going to leave that to uh, as a default now here after next is let's uh, copy this and uh, paste uh, there paste uh, there now i am going to print hello world so here write uh, on the return hello world now control s to save right click on this module.py uh, start without debugging click on this uh, start without debugging here you can see we are starting with a start now you need to copy this uh, running on this uh, location http and uh, control c open any of your favorite browser so let's uh, open google chrome now at this place you need to paste so here you can see hello world it's uh, printing so if i do any changes hello world how or you control s to save and uh, here let's uh, refresh hello world how are you it's a uh, printing so this is the way we can here install flask run flask or uh, code inside to uh, visual studio 2019 so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you